Hello YouTube and welcome back. In this tip of the day, we're going to talk about lifters and basically just about getting the lifters out of a block. When you go to tear down a motor, you don't think the lifters are going to just come right out and they're probably might, more than likely not. And the reason is they're going to get worn on the bottom and it's going to actually mushroom the lifter out. All that means is it's going to get a little bit bigger because of the wear and you're not going to be able to get it out through the top. They make a lifter removal tool from back in the day. You would put it in there, squeeze it, slide hammer it out. You don't really want to do that because you don't want to run that lifter that's bigger in the bore, sliding it out, scratching that bore all up or even enlarging the bore. So all you want to do is you want to take a pick and you want to grab the lifter by the clip right in there and just slide it up. If it will come out that easy, you're good to go. If not, there's not a problem. Just slide them up, pull the camshaft out, and then slide the lifters down. They'll come right out really easy, and all you need to do is get them up to go high enough up that the cam will come out, which will generally be right at that little lip. They'll come right up there. That's as far as they'll go. Don't try to drag them out, like I said, and ruin your bore. Slide them up, pull the cam out, and then push them down. Quick, easy, little tip. Also, part two of this little tip would be to take you a cam lifter box, put an F in the front, and go ahead and put your lifters in order if you're going to reuse the lifters. If this cam and lifters were going to be just an overhaul and they're good shape and you're going to reuse them, they need to be in order. If you mix them up, you might as well just throw the cam away. Don't make the uh, mistake of thinking, well, I'm going to replace a new set of lifters anyway. No, you're not. Not on a used cam. That's a guaranteed flat cam. So if you're going to use this lifter, you want to make sure that you leave it back in the same lobe that it was in when it came apart. If you were to take them apart in order, move them to the side, then put them back in, they're already broken into that cam. If they're working fine, they're going to keep working fine. If you mix the lifters up, guaranteed you're going to flatten the cam. If you put the same cam and think you're going to put a fresh set of lifters in it, guaranteed you're going to flatten the cam. All right, we pulled the cam out. And we could see that the lobes were worn. Doesn't have a flat lobe, but it was time. It shouldn't have a square tip on the lobe. We should have some lobe there. But that explains why the camshaft would not come out. So there's no need to keep these lifters in order because we're gonna replace them. They're bad anyway. We can even see the bottom of the lifters were showing wear and that's why they don't come up to the top. What came up to the top? One, two, three lifters came out none of the other ones would and it's okay because we don't want them to come up and look at that that's it we're not struggling can you hear that they're falling down to the bottom easy way to get them out it's not frustrating, you're not pulling them, you're not damaging the bores, you're not damaging anything, you're not hurting your feelings. Lifters are out, three came up to the top, very quick, don't pry your lifters up to the top. These came out because these were better, once again, tip of the day, pull the lifters out, slide the cam out, drop the lifters down. Tip of the day, we'll see you on the next one. Real quick, easy tip, a pick, pull the lifters up, slide the cam out, you're done. We'll see you on the next one.